It's a foggy and warm Monday morning here in Richmond, Virginia. I have not made a video in like a really long time. <laughs> and I know that some people have subscribed to me and I thank you for that. And so I've been kind of a little bit remiss with that and I apologize. Um, I'm probably not, not going to be making a lot of videos right now um, for a variety of reasons, but I thought I'd just do a little check in here um, and tell you what's going on. This morning I spent time doing my schedule. I wanted to get a big um, calendar. I, I keep my calendar on my phone. I'm since I'm doing some different dog sitting stuff and I'm doing my um, darkroom monitoring at the Visual Arts Center. Um, I, I, and then I've got people visiting and stuff. I've started to get kind of um, a little bit anxious about keeping track of things. So while I like the schedule on the phone, I feel like a big paper schedule is helpful for me to get an overview of what's going on. I, I get worried that I'm going to miss something in my, um, in my phone schedule. So I was doing that this morning, trying to do a little bit of a reset. Um, and kind of get back on, on track. Uh, I don't need to go into details about why I get off track, but, um, so I got a portfolio for these. This is like a, this is a, um, what is it? 18 by 24 portfolio. So it actually fits all my larger um, wet cyanotype pieces. So I'm gonna be going up to uh, Rockville in a couple of weekends to talk to the person with the gallery that's uh, offered me a show in um, February. And I just wanted to, I wanted to show her the physical prints. She's seen the work online, but she hasn't seen the physical prints. And I, I would have more confidence um, in the show, in doing the show, if I was able to uh, just talk to her directly and, and show her the prints and, and look at the lighting in the gallery because the the I noticed the um, light makes a huge difference on on all the different colors that that show in these prints and um, like when I hold it up into like sunlight coming in a window the the colors just really really uh, pop. This is one piece that I need to, um, I need to do a little bit of paper repair on this one. And it's one of my favorite ones too, so it really bummed me out that when I was taking it out of the, the rinse bath, it, it tore, because it, it gets pretty heavy when it's wet. So those are all the, those are all the bigger ones, and then I, I matched up the, um, the half size, uh, well there's, there's a couple that are vertical. Most most of these are, um, I mean, there's a couple that are horizontal. Most of them are vertical. Oop, and I missed a page here. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, so I have these ready to go. And I'm going to go see her the weekend after next. I have to decide whether I'm going to try to do the... Um, Try to do the trip all at once. I go up and come back. I'm gonna get my tea here, or whether I want to spend the night because I'm gonna be going up in November and spending the night um, for a concert, and I have to um, allocate my funds appropriately. I was out in the garden the other day. I got that bed all. I got stuff pulled out, cut down. Um, I planted a few like um, dill and parsley and some greens that, that still should last a while. Um, I have yet to get to the medicinal herb bed um, in which I have to pull out. 
I have to thin the mother wart and give some space to some other things that um, really kind of got overshadowed. Oh, here comes a leaf falling. Some of the leaves are falling. And I did get my, did get my lawn mode. Um, downstairs, I've been, if you follow me on Instagram or um, my blog, I've been uh, doing these other prints. I haven't made any wet cyanotypes for a few weeks now. And I have gone on to, oh yes, I do have some Halloween decorations up. I didn't show you those upstairs. I'll show you those once I get done in here. So I've been making these prints. They're called Lumen prints. And you make them on photographic paper. They're, uh, they are, uh, these were, these were using some, some negatives that I had. These were, um, just kind of a, a, an experiment. I don't particularly like this paper because it's glossy paper. Uh, I like fiber paper uh, and it's resin coated glossy and it just feels too plasticky to me. But I've just been experimenting to see how well they work and, and what kind of results I get with these. Um, I will show you in a second the paper that I like better. Um, these were I think I did these in the sun for maybe, oh gosh, half hour or so. I need the mark on the back. I haven't been doing that. Um, and these were combining a negative and botanical material. Uh, what are these ones? These are some of the early ones that I did. Yeah, so these are, these are some of the lumen prints. I'm not going to pull these out because I've been doing these in sets. And they, they go together in a grid. Um, hang on, let me see about getting out the ones, I, I keep trying to flatten them too. These are all my, my negative, my digital negatives that I've used on some of these. But the fiber paper gets very, um, curvy, so I need to, um, I need to flatten it out the same way that I flatten out the watercolor paper. Um, uh, I will just show you, for example, you can go to my Flickr um, or to my blog to see, to see the ones that are, are in sets. Uh, these ones, these ones could be, I might put them in a set, I don't know. Let's see if I can get it to focus right so you can see the detail that comes. It's having a little bit of a hard time here. Yeah, there we go. You can see the detail that it picks up um, with all of the little stamen crystals. <laughs> I should know. <laughs> I always get confused as what is what. But the camellias out back are blooming and the tea camellias are blooming, which are what the, the smaller ones are there. Uh, it's that plant right there that's blooming. But it doesn't want to focus. Uh, there we go. Um, this is this is one that's in a grid too. Uh, so I got so this is this is fiber based paper and it's like a semi mat. So that's like my favorite kind of paper. And this this paper just does really really interesting stuff. Um, so this is black and white paper, and when you expose it to the sun, uh, it it actually changes colors. And this is this is the only per paper that I've used so far that does anything other than like turning more of a, a taupe or gray. I have used some paper in the past. It picks up subtle colors, but this is warm tone, Ilford warm tone, fiber-based paper. And it it's the only one that I've gotten these colors on. And, oh, let's see. Uh, it, 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 if, if I leave it in the sun longer, I can, oh, once again, hang on, clearly I was, I'm doing this on the fly, and uh, there's, there's some, so, but, but if I leave it, but if I leave it longer, I get these other tones, I get these kind of um, rust, and and brown 
and there's just a little teeny tiny bit of like some purple in there. Uh, so I don't I don't like those tones as well as I like the um, purple and uh, purples and oranges, but I'm happy to see that there is a range uh, that I can get with those. And, and these were some of the first ones that I was making here. This is actually, this is also the Ilford Warm Tone, but it's, it's glossy. It's not, um, it's not uh, the, um, it's not the, the semi-matte. And, and I don't like that as well, but I had it, so so I used it. Let me see. Oh yeah, so here are some that also got um, up more of the the greens in them. So these these couple of these go together in in sets too. It's very interesting. They get a little bit abstracted. And this was on this was on like um, some kind of mystery paper. I'm not even sure what this was. <laughs> um, so, so for the past, oh, how long? Um, I don't know. M maybe for the past um, couple of weeks since I've been back at the Visual Arts Center. Well, I did some printing in the dark room, but then I've kind of gone on to these lumens. Uh, and I may think about including some of those in the in the show up in um, up in Rockville and that's something I need to talk to, to Judith about so that's about it I will end by showing you my little some of my little Halloween decorations there I still need to get my stuff uh, up out front but haven't done it yet so you all have a good day and a good week